God gave Moses and Jesus and told Moses and Moses was crying out. He said, why more crying to me, Moses? You need to lift up your head. I gave you what you need. He said, you need to raise up your hand and command them to turn the mark. Oh, y'all don't want to talk to me. Y'all know somebody. See, we can hear on somebody that the Bible says told us to cast out into the deep water. You got to, y'all don't want to talk to me. Y'all know somebody. You got to get out right. You got to get what them demons say. Get nowhere near you. You got to go on about your business. You got to get on. Hello, somebody. You ride too many close boats. You hang around family too much. You can't go. Hello, somebody. You act like you can't live unless your family around you. I tell you something, your family will drain every bit of life up out of you. You better try to get a piece of bread, I guess you going to split it. I don't care how many pieces of family. If you got eight of them in the family, you better get the ninth piece. You know somebody. I tell you, eat it real quick one. If you eat it real quick, it's going to be an argument. You know somebody. Now you get out around that family, you enjoy that piece of bread. What you said? Oh, uh, I'm just saying, amen. And if ain't family, you got too many folk to claim to be family. You ever been around folk that that might come? You ain't no kid to me. Stop lying. You know somebody, amen. You know when they claim or something, I don't even know nothing about you. When anybody the same, you wouldn't even be there. All right, on. hello somebody. You gone with that mess. Hello somebody. If you don't believe in hit the lottery and see what happened. What you said, I'm just saying now, amen. Everybody love a winner. You know somebody, they, they, they want to get next to you because of the winning. You know somebody, people see potential in you. They talk about you, they put you down, but they try to hang around you. You know somebody, they want to eat at the table and stab you in the back at the same time. Y'all better talk to me. You better come on up out that water. You say, but Lord, I'm, 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 I'm told all night long. And I ain't caught nothing in this shadow water. And I'm scared to go out here in the fun. Hello, somebody. But God didn't give you the spirit of fear. He gave you the spirit of power. You better get on up out of here. You better go out there. That demon can't swim out there in that deep water. He can't make it out there in that deep water. He got too shallow of a mind. His lies are too shallow. He can't even tell a real good lie. So y'all don't want to talk to me. Uh, Y'all don't want to talk to me. I don't see how some people believe them lies they tell. Hello, somebody, amen. You got to want to believe a lie and believe a dumb lie. Oh, uh, amen, huh? He was a good lie. He lied on folk right here. Got people going, oh, 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 oh. The Lord, oh, the devil is a lie. And the father of it. You better go on with that, man. Hello, somebody. It's the truth that holds that going to keep you. Hello, somebody. It's the truth that'll make you free. Hello, somebody. It's the truth that'll cut all them lies about you. If you go in over look here, that the demon told him to cast out into the deep water. Either law, we ain't caught nothing. Either but that, he's he that. You, you look at when Jesus told Peter to cast out into the deep water, Peter went to cry. Jesus didn't say now another word. He said that you, you ever, you ever God, you ever God, and God ever spoke something to you, and you sit there and debate it on. God ain't said nothing there. They ever spoke the blessing over you, and you know it. I don't know. I can't go out there, man. I, I try to get out around my people, and I got to have some. I get out there by myself. I ain't gonna be able to make it. And I got to call my mama or something, somebody to have somebody with me. I wouldn't even have nobody to pray with me. God knows I want me some chicken. Hello, somebody. Hey, man, you got to cast out in the deep water. God will make the ravens come feed you. God, you got to, the God that created the heaven and earth ain't going to let you sob. God ain't going to let you. Hello, somebody. What if I get sick and want nobody be able to pray for me? I don't want nobody but Jesus praying for me no how. And if they call on the name of Jesus, I don't want them bothering around with me. Hello, somebody. Most of the churches you go into down there, you get sick as a dog and they ain't going to pray for you. What you got? Uh, the preacher fall dead back there, they ain't gonna pray for him. Hell, you, you know, most of the church you go in today, nowadays people, the, the preacher gets sick and they be sitting back there talking about, I don't know who's gonna be the next preacher. You know, I heard, I don't know how he got sick like that, but that's that mess he's doing. I, I, tell me the Tampa Jail, God. You know when you go to Tampa Jail and you done got shot in a robbery or something, the doctor don't say, oh, he was robbing somebody, I ain't gonna help him. The doctor jumped out there and hit me. He done shot it out with the police and down the head. If he done robbed somebody, if he, done, he went to the doctor's house and robbed the doctor's house, a doctor in there, I had me. But you, 
the sheep around here. Oh, God, I know he, he, I was over there. He'd be kind of friendly with that woman right there, ain't no, no. You know, got the Lord, the rap of the Lord on him. The Bible ain't said that about this, but the Bible said that being sick amongst you. You know somebody, but after all I heard you say it, Peter said, Lord, nevertheless, in thy word. You ain't gonna get nowhere until you obey God. You ain't gonna, you, you, you listen to all them folks, you, God wants you to come out and ride them kid folks, cause you listen to them boy, you listen to God. You don't put mama, sister, brother, nobody before God, cause they got always got five shit to put in there, and they paid two shit one for water. You know somebody, amen? If, if you were starving, they ain't gonna do it with that. And if the key is, they ain't gonna talk about it for the rest of your life. You know somebody? If you don't hear me talk about what God brought me from, how many of y'all ever been in the church with me on a Sunday or anything else and heard God say, I brought you from the long way, boy, you ain't acting right. God ain't gonna stand there and talk about he brought you from the long way. If anybody talk about what God brought you from, it's gonna be you. You know somebody, God ain't going to do that for you instead of talking about it. What you said? I'm just saying, I mean, I, you might not have nobody in your life talking about what they done done for you. You know somebody, uh, uh, hello somebody, I'm talking, uh, hell, I, I, I might not be talking to you, but I'm talking right. Huh? Hello somebody, you got to cast out into the deep water, and you got, you got to say it down with it, and if God ain't said that, you ain't deep enough. Hello, somebody, because when you get to the right place, God will say, right here. This way you throw it out at right here. You put it down right here. The talent I gave you, you look at him, look at him. He, he got Joseph, they tried to kill him. Don't worry about folks trying to kill you. If God be for you, the devil in hell can't do you no harm. Anything the devil do will tell you closer to your destiny. What you said, I said, y'all don't have me, huh? I thank the Lord. I give God the praise, the glory, and the honor. Amen? Look at them. Don't get bad if people talk about you with chicken. Get you a recipe and start selling chicken. You know something about it. Uh, that might be your gift. You know something about it. the fried chicken in town. And I take up two pieces. You know something about it. I'm just saying, amen. Hey, I thank the Lord. I give God the praise, the glory, and the honor. God is good. There's a word in here to somebody because it's impossible to please God other than by faith. The things you've been going through, you need to go, you need to, you need to abide in faith. And that faith in Jesus. It ain't nothing but a test. Hello, somebody. You need to stop crying about every little thing and, and delight yourself in the Lord. You need to get lost off in Jesus. You get lost everywhere else. Oh, uh, hello, somebody. You know, y'all are old enough, definitely got lost in the body and the fire. Somebody, I found Jesus. You ain't found Jesus. Jesus pulled you up out the body. Yeah. Hello, somebody. I'm just saying, amen. Uh, wherever Jesus pulled you from, amen. Uh, hello, somebody, amen. I thank the Lord, and, but it's by faith in Jesus' name. Everything that's created down here was created, and God created it by Jesus. And God gave you that same Jesus. And you need to start walking by faith. You need to stay up out of the flesh and get in the spirit. You need to go ahead and let the Lord lead things. You need to get your two shit up out of there. Huh? You know my mama, sister, brother, he said you got to hate yourself. If you don't hate yourself, you loving yourself too much. Hello, somebody. And you know how self forgets you be running around talking about, well, I don't know now. I don't know what he blessed me or not. I, I, I probably was going to get in there anyhow. You know, I, I, I'm bold like this here. Uh, I was born naked. You know what I mean? By a midwife. And they had my name wrong. I ain't been long, got my birth certificate straight. What you have? Uh huh. But I'm talking about in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I said, I said, you can be dream. You got dreams. You're a dreamer. God has put dreams in your life because you are somebody. And a dream that you dream of coming from God where he's taking you in. Hello, somebody. And you stop looking down on yourself. You stop feeling sorry for yourself. Let other people talk about you. Stop talking about yourself. Stop putting yourself down. Delight yourself in the Lord. Amen. If one person feels good about you, it ought to be you. 
I mean, nobody should be able to talk to you so much you don't feel bad about yourself. Nobody should have put you down so bad you don't feel bad about somebody. And, and we live in by, we, by faith and that faith in Jesus. We have the dispensation of grace and that's what, oh, y'all don't want to talk to me. You want to tell me about how many laws I broke. You want to tell me about grace is sufficient for me. That's what I'm talking about. Hello, somebody. The Bible said we're seeing about grace about even more. Hello, somebody. God so loved the world that he gave us only with God's son. God loved the sin I hate to see it. Don't tell me God ain't with me, but have a sin. And I'm trying to get away from sin and separate it. I'm good Lord, take that sin away from me. Pull it up out of me. Do what you do to it. I want to see this here. The way she had been abusing me, I want to see God get on it. I want to, well, look, if I got anything to do it, I want to deliver it right in God's hand. You can have this with God. Take this joke and wear it out. Hello, somebody. Get it for the old and for the new. Hello, somebody. I'm just saying, amen. I, I, I love the Lord. And not just love the Lord, I'm in love with God, amen. Are you in love with God? Are you doing what folks do that's in love with God? Are you calling on this holy day? Are you trusting him in every situation? Are you looking at circumstances instead of living by faith? And that faith in Jesus, huh? I said, you worry about the circumstances. I said, the devil will have your mind so tied up in the circumstances that he'll stop your forward movement in the spirit. God is waiting on you. You ain't waiting on God. When God gave you his spirit, God is waiting on you to follow him. Oh, y'all don't want to talk. Hello, somebody. Ain't nobody trying to force you. I said, you continue in my word. Then shall you know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. You have to continue in God's word. The devil trying to stop your boy moving. God told you to press on. God, y'all don't want to talk to me. Hello, somebody. You worry about what's going on around you. You learn all you can. You're going to need it. You just keep right on pressing on. God ain't care you do nothing. He can't have nothing. God ain't care you the way he ain't been before. God ain't bringing you through nothing. He ain't brought us out of. Hello, somebody. You worry about the wrong thing. God is a healer. He's a doctor. He's a healer. If you believe in God, if you trust in God, you put all them hypocrites to shame. Hypocrites sit around wait on you to die. Already done count money. Been married that joker. I'm going on a cruise with this money. I'm going to enjoy this money. God done restored me. God just wanted me to get down so I could see what you really thought. What you said? I said, God got purpose in everything he do. I said, God know how to deliver you. God know how to get Joseph over there to Pharaoh to save all the people. God know how to get you in a house of prayer where they'll pray for you. God, God, y'all don't want to talk to me. God, God will get you in the right place at the right time. You stop trying to control everything and let go and let God. Let God do what he do. The Bible said God is the head. And he said, God is the head of the church. He's about that body of yours. God is the head. You try, try to make decisions. The Bible said the footsteps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. You don't order your own footsteps. Hello, somebody. God is in charge. And then set back and leave the driver to the Lord. Because God don't want you driving because you pick up too many devils. What you said, huh? I'm just saying, amen. Oh, there ain't no need you get behind the steering wheel. You gonna stop at every every stop sign, try to have a conversation with every devil you see. They gonna want everybody to see you drive. You get on over there in the passenger seat. As a matter of fact, get in the back seat. I show for your butt because you ain't gonna hello somebody. And the door was locked from the outside. You hello somebody. You ain't gonna let nail one of them demons off in here. Hello somebody. I'm on my way up, not by power, not by might, but by the spirit of the Lord. You know. There's too many no more that there ain't nothing wrong with God. It ain't nothing wrong with your blessing. You done picked up too many riders. You need to share yourself with some of the riders. You need to share yourself with some of that family. You need to share yourself with some of them close associates that ain't nothing but frenemies. And you call them friends, but God calls them frenemies. Enemies. Hello, yeah, right. somebody. Amen. There's something in life about you sitting there waiting on you to get blessed. And they ain't doing nothing talking about you behind your back. Every time your back turn, they're talking about you. And nowadays, they'll sit right up there talking about you right in front of you. And you want them to be texting the person in the back. I know they ain't no good. They're lying on you behind you. Hello, somebody. They'll text them lies all over. Hello. Hello, my name is Apostle Oldsby Lockett, Pastor of Resurrection Temple House of Prayer. 
I'm going to break it to our service just to give you an opportunity to get your life right with God. The Bible says, if you will confess out of your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I'd like to give you an opportunity right now to join me in prayer. And if you'll pray this prayer from the depths of your heart, sincerely, believing and trusting the Lord, I know everything will work out for you. Let us pray this prayer. Let us say, Father, Father, in the name of Jesus, I confess out of my own mouth of my own free will that I'm a sinner. And I ask you, Holy Father, to have mercy upon me. Forgive me a sinner. Father, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and that he was crucified, dead and buried for the forgiveness of my sin. I believe that on the third day God raised him from the dead. He ascended into heaven, sat on the right hand side of God the Father. And with this, he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart and live. Come into my life and live. Lord, come into my home and live. Lord, I know by praying this prayer, by trusting and believing in you, they're going to talk about me. They talked about you. But even so, Lord Jesus, come. In the name of Jesus, let it so be. Amen. 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 Amen.